Welcome to chemistry class. Today we are going to learn about the nomenclature of phenols under the topic alcohols, phenols and ethers. We know that we have two types of nomenclature systems. One is the common and another one is the IUPAC. In both of these, the common and the IUPAC nomenclature system, the parent family for the nomenclature of phenol is phenol. According to the common system of nomenclature, the parent member is phenol right now the other members are named as derivatives of phenol how are they named they are named as derivatives of phenol okay so now the position of the substituents is indicated by the prefixes ortho meta and para Okay, the ortho prefix is for the position 1, 2, meta prefix is for the position 1, 3 and para prefix is for the position 1, 4. The ortho, meta and para positions are indicated by O, M and P. Fine? Now, we will see how are they named in the common system with the examples. Okay, let us have some examples. For example, if this is the phenol structure with OH group as a functional group and we have this CH3 as a substituent, the name of this compound in the common system is going to be ortho methyl phenol. Fine? How? Because this is your one position, this is the two, three, four, and five. So according to the common system one two position is named with ortho so this is going to be o methylphenol or ortho methylphenol okay this second structure is having oh functional group and here we have ch3 at the third position so the name for this compound is going to be meta methyl Phenol. Fine. Now we have the third structure for the derivative of phenol. Here we have the OH functional group and the CH3 derivative is present at the fourth position. So the name is going to be para methyl phenol. Okay. Now we will do according to the IUPAC nomenclature system. In the IUPAC system also, all the substituted phenols are named as derivatives of phenols. How are they named? They are named as derivatives of phenols. Okay. Now we will see the examples. Here I have a structure of derivative of phenol OH group is present here and the substituent is present on the second position so what is the name since this is the second position see here 1 2 3 4 5 6 now why this is the second position because we always give the lowest number to the derivative to the substituent which is present we have the highest priority for the functional group so we have given the number one here then the next number goes to the substituent okay substituent must get the lower numbers so we have here ch3 present on the second number so now the name of this compound is going to be what is the name 2 methyl 
and this is the derivative of phenol so 2 methyl phenol fine so if the methyl group is present on the third position the name will be 3 methyl if it is present in the fourth position then it is going to be the fourth methyl okay now if you have um, a compound like you know if you have a compound like here with the structure phenol and OH is the substituent so what will be the name the name is uh, going to be like this is the benzene ring so the name is benzene and since we have the OH group present on the first and second positions so benzene 1 2 dipole okay we'll do some more examples uh, if like if you have a phenol compound here with the OH group present here okay and another one is present here another one is uh, OH group is present here so the name is going to be one two three sorry this is the four this is your three this is your four so the name of this compound is going to be benzene one two four try all okay so today we have learned about the nomenclature of phenol and to learn about more of the chemistry topics just visit like share and subscribe chemistry class thank you